let's learn how to create flawless white backgrounds for product photos in Photoshop in this simple tutorial. With Photoshop open, come to File, Open. Locate your product photo and press Open. Click and drag the background layer into the new layer button to create a duplicate layer. With the duplicate layer selected, come to Image, Adjustments, Replace Color. Make sure the left hand eyedropper is selected and click the background color on your image. Bring up the lightness as much as possible and play around with the fuzziness slider to further purify the white. If you've still got dark areas, you can use the Add Eyedropper tool and select to add additional dark colors. And once again, adjust the fuzziness and the lightness until you're happy with the selection. Click OK. You can test the background color by coming to the eyedropper tool on the left hand side, double clicking your foreground color and clicking on the background to see what the color is. If you get FFF, you've got a pure white background. If you click and you're slightly off white, so for example here I've got FE, FE, you can always go back into match color and refine the color selection accordingly. Press OK. Let's now address the color of the product itself which as you can see if I toggle the layers on or off is considerably lighter than the original. Come to selection tool, select this new background copy layer, make a selection around your product. So I'm gonna use the select subject option, press the marquee tool, select and mask. Let's refine the selection. First, command or control plus to zoom in and hand tool to scroll to the bottom. Select the brush, select minus, and I'm gonna remove this little bit of shadow that's been added here. Command or Control minus to zoom out and further refine the selection with global refinements. So let's try to smooth a little, maybe add a touch of feather and also under output settings, let's try to decontaminate the colors. Play around with the sliders until you're happy with the selection. Set your output to new layer with layer mask. Press OK. Now invert the mask by pressing Command or Control and I. So now if I zoom out, you have your white background with your original colored image removed from the mask. On the new layer, make sure you select the mask thumbnail, not the layer thumbnail. So select mask thumbnail. And now let's enhance this image by coming to the brush tool, selecting a soft round brush, decreasing the size slightly and switching the foreground color to white. And if you're not set to black and white, simply click the foreground color, select white and press okay. Bring your opacity down to a very low amount. And now on the mask, we can color over the areas we'd like to add more light to. I can also do the opposite and enhance the darker tones by switching my brush to black, keeping my opacity low, and then painting over the dark areas. So maybe, for example, I want to enhance the shadow. I can paint over this bit accordingly. So paint white and black over the mask until you're happy with the final result. Lastly, I can further enhance the image with adjustment layers. Into my layers panel, select my adjustment layers. Let's go for a levels layer. In my properties panel, I can enhance the darker tones if I wish and bring out those lighter tones. And let's also try a hue saturation layer. Again, in the properties panel, scroll down saturation and I can bring out those colors a little more by bringing up the saturation. Once I'm happy, select that top layer in the layers panel, hold shift, select the bottom layer to select all four of these layers, right click, group from layers. Let's call this product. Okay, and now I have all my layers in one group. So I toggle this off, there's my original photo, and there's my enhanced product photo. And there you have it, it's that simple to take a product photo and add a flawless white background to it, while also being able to enhance the color of the product itself. So I really hope you found this tutorial helpful, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, keep on designing, and I will see you for the next tutorial.